Today in Apple News, Samsung Galaxy Foldgate, the new iPhone 8, and Bye Bye Volume HUD. I'm my Skylar. Let's get started. So, we've got quite a bit to cover today since I haven't uploaded in a week. There's a lot of big stuff that's happened and some little stuff. So the first thing is this Samsung Galaxy Fold issue. So, the Samsung Galaxy Fold was supposed to be the next big awesome thing. But it appears to be the next big failure. So, many reviewers are reporting that their screens on their early review units are breaking after days of use. So, here's Mark Gurman's one. The screen has had issues. Even now, it's gotten even worse. Here's it up close. There have been a lot of issues. So, this is not good for a device with pre-orders starting on April 26th and a available on May 3rd which is very soon, that's early next month, that it's going to be available. And these pre-production units aren't working at all. I'm seeing that this phone is going to be delayed and have a lot of issues. I don't think it's quite the time for f true folding phones like this yet. Because after ExplodeGate with the Note 7 batteries exploding, Samsung doesn't want another issue, so they probably won't release these devices early. They will probably make sure they are ready to work. Another issue that Marquez Brownlee is reporting is a lot of people are pulling off this protective layer that is not a screen protector, but is and ruins screen. A lot of people are having issues with pulling that off. So it just doesn't seem to be the best pre-release cycle going on right now. So, this kind of gives me hope that Apple might have a stake in the folding phone game, because it might take a few years for it to really actually get going. So, iPhone 8. Apple may be kind of rebooting the iPhone 8 with the newest chip, which will be the A13, one camera, 128 gigabytes for $650. Personally... I wish they went with a slightly older processor and went cheaper, so maybe they went with this year's processor, the A12, or last year's A11, and went a little bit cheaper, but they didn't. But the interesting thing is, it will be the same as this iPhone 8, it's going to have home button, touch ID, kind of like old phones, but also the new iPads, some of them have that. So that's just an interesting thing that may be happening from Apple. That one I'm not certain about, but that could possibly be happening. There are a few reports on that. So, Find iPhone and Find Friends is going to have a combination app released. This could be a part of iOS 13, could not be, but I'm not sure. So, it's just an app combining these two into one. But, there's an interesting feature that is supposed to be coming that lets devices be tracked when they're not on Wi-Fi or cellular. I don't entirely believe that, and I'm not sure about that, but it may have to do with the other feature, which is their Tile competitor, which is just a tracking device that you can put on your AirPods or something. Apple, the 9 to 5 Mac reports that it will be just a random product. It doesn't have to be an Apple product. It could be anything, like a Tile. So, it seems to me, though, that it is meant for AirPods. I don't know. This just seems kind of a weird thing for Apple to do, but we'll have to see if that happens and how that happens. Next is iOS 13 is getting dark mode, system-wide dark mode. Now, we did hear this for like iOS 11 and 12, so I wouldn't count on it, but there have been some developer-related things and a lot of things pointing to this happening. So if there was an iOS for it, this is the best one it's looking like to get it. iPads will have windows now that can be like moved around and stuff. They'll also get an undo and redo gesture and better website support in Safari. The Mail app is getting a productivity update. So like just changing it to be more productive, sorting stuff for you using Siri shortcuts, AI, things like that. And, oh, Redesign Reminders app. Sorry, that volume HUD, always getting in the way. And finally, it's going to be out of the way. 
Hopefully, in iOS 13, we've seen a report that means this volume HUD that gets in the way will be moved out of the way and be changed to be like everyone else's, which is not in the way. It's such a simple thing I wish Apple would have dealt with much earlier. Podcasts can now be played in a browser, just an interesting little thing. And iOS 13's iPhone 11 and iOS 13 together will be very fast probably working together with iOS 13, iPhone 11, with the processor and everything to make a nice fast phone. But we knew that would happen. That was just a weird report that I found that says it's going to be fast. So yeah, I'm Scour. Thanks for watching. Bye.